At 8 p.m., the head judge will announce that the polls are closed. Follow the checklist closing the polling place found in the red folder. If there's a line of voters at 8 p.m., an election judge may stand at the end of the line. Anyone who arrives after this judge has arrived too late to vote. To show that the polling place is closed, immediately remove the vote here sign, U.S. flag, and voter parking signs from outside the building. Voter parking signs placed by Public Works for on-street parking are to remain outdoors as Public Works will retrieve these signs the next day. Inside your polling room, do not begin closing the polling place until the last voter has finished voting and all voted ballots have been run through the ballot counter. Closing procedures are open to the public, so do not lock up the building or the polling room until all closing activities are complete. Once the final voter has cast their ballot, the head judge should close the ballot counter. Follow the ballot counter closing instructions found in the red folder. Transfer the voted ballots from the ballot box into the ballot transfer case. Use two sticker seals and two blue seals to secure the lid of the ballot transfer case. Only voted ballots should be placed in the ballot transfer case. All unused ballots, even if they have been initialed by two election judges, should be placed in the green supplies box and left at your polling place. Complete the official certification form ballot counter. The head judge is responsible for completing the voter statistics sheet, known as the pink sheet. This is the official document used to audit the number of total voters at the polling place and is used to report official voting results to the Secretary of State's office. For more information about the statistics sheet, see the voter statistics training video. The head judge will assign other closing duties. Take down the voting stations. Two judges should complete the ballot audit section of the official certification form, Polling Place Ballots. Place all unused ballots in the green box. Two judges should close the ballot marking device. Follow the specific closing instructions found in the red folder and complete the official certification form, Ballot Marking Device. Remove all the election signs from the wall and carefully remove the tape on the back side. These signs will be reused from election to election. Use the checklists for the green box to return materials to their proper locations. Please do not use the green box as a trash can as most of the supplies will be reused in the next election. The green box does not need to be sealed and can be left at your polling place. Only begin closing the poll pads and Wi-Fi device 15 minutes after the final voter has left the polling place. The poll pads and Wi-Fi device need time to update their information with the elections office after polls have closed. Return the non-registered roster books in the same container as the poll pads. Extra roster books can be returned in the blue tub. Pack up the blue tub. The blue tub should contain the green, red, and purple folders with all the forms. In the lower right corner, each form will list which folder it should be returned to. Two summary statement envelopes should be packed in the blue tub, while the third summary statement should be left at your polling place in the green box. All other envelopes should be placed in the blue tub. A full list of items to be packed in the blue tub can be found on the election night returns form. Certain materials must be returned to the elections office on election night. The ballot transfer case, blue tub with all its contents, Pull pads, Wi Fi device, and non registered roster books, ballot counter. All other materials not listed on the return certification form are to remain at the polling place. Use the closing checklist to verify these materials. Leave these materials in the same location as they were found in the morning. The timesheet form should be completed with all election judges before leaving your polling place. Clean and organize the polling place. Put away tables and chairs and make sure the room is in the same condition as it was at the start of the day.